Mrs. Cute and welcome to my YouTube channel. Sorry I am late due the circumstances beyond my control. I was stuck in traffic for over an hour and 40 minutes. For real, for real. Anyway, so while I give people a chance to come on in, uh, make sure you get your, your um, drink. Ooh, that's delicious. They ain't number water. <laughs> for real, for real. That ain't number water because I'm hungry. Can't drink anything uh, uh, mature-like on an empty stomach and thirsty. I was coming from the grocery store, so I was worried about my milk and things. So, <sighs> anyway. Thank y'all for being patient. I really do apologize. Like I said, it was not my fault. And I'm finna show y'all. Y'all saw my picture on my thumbnail, right? Okay, that was, the, that was the line. I had already been sitting in traffic for over an hour when I took that picture. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, basically, uh, a sister was hot. Yes, she was. And, um... I, I just, so, I do believe during my live, I think, I told y'all, Mr. Q and I was stuck in traffic for over an hour trying to get home from the store. So, there's this event that's going on in our neighborhood called Lights Alive. Now, what is Lights Alive? Now, some people have it. And they maybe call it a different name. I know when I used to live in Georgia, they had one. I can't remember what it was called, but it was right on the outskirts of Hepsiba, Georgia. But anyway, people are going to see this show. Because right now is COVID. A lot of people can't go out. So, of course... You pay thirty. I think it's thirty five dollars, and you you and your family in your vehicle. You drive through this live light show. Okay, this isn't the first one I've seen. One like I said, when I lived in Georgia, there was one right outside of Hepsiba, Georgia, and they did the same. It was similar. You drive through, except for the one in Georgia, you drove like they. You were on like a, a kind of like a. Not a train, kind of like a hayride. The one in Louisiana was like a hayride. You were actually sitting on hay. <laughs> the one in Georgia, you were sitting on the back and it, it, you were being pulled by a tractor. <laughs> okay? So, yeah. So, this is what is causing the traffic. So, the main road into our subdivisions is, uh, for the most part, a four-lane road, meaning two lanes going out, two lanes coming in. However, the street that this is on is only two lanes. And some people can't even get to their subdivision. That's how bad it is. So, I'm thinking they're going to call the police. They're going to do the traffic thing and everything's going to be okay. Honey, I was wrong. I was wronger than two left shoes, okay? I mean, Lord, I was in traffic so long. I didn't have no... The one time I didn't have no water, I had a back seat full of groceries. Mm -hmm. For real, for real. Including cloth, milk, coffee, juice, frozen stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, <sighs> what my fight, y'all? What my fault? But anyway... I'm here. Thank y'all for joining me and being patient. I really do appreciate it. Um, I'm, I'm going to try my best next weekend just not to go anywhere. I hopefully got majority of what I need to get done today. For the most part, I did. I think I got to go out one more time tomorrow. But otherwise, yeah. Anyway, let's see who's in the chat. Like I said again, thank y'all for being patient. Uh, let's see who 
who's in, in the chat. Let's see who is in the chat. Da da da. Who's in the chat? Who's in the chat? <laughs> hey, I'm getting used to my little Google Chrome now, y'all. So hey, I'm a little happy. Cause it's gonna be a minute before I get a laptop. I haven't found the right one I want. Okay. Hi, Tammy Stowen. Hi, Candy Crusher, my second favorite neighbor. Uh, hi, phenomenal personality. Hi, Samara Robertson. Thank you for joining. Hey, DJ King. Hi, Sissy Sunny Skies 151. Hi, Sissy B Star Vibe. Hi, Sissy Carmen Hawkins. Hey, Sissy M Squared. <laughs> Thank y'all for supporting. Really? I'm with the internet now. Lord Jesus, hell no. But no, CJ was at home, so CJ was chilling. <laughs> he was chilling. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Let me see who else. Hi, little, little Kim Life. Oh. <laughs> I tell you, Jones. I just love that name. Hi, Justy Lushik. I hope I said that right this day's world. Hi, Miss Angie. Hi, Shirley Saxton. Hey, Keisha M. Florentine Quack, nice to see you. Hey, Lucinda Quimbley. Hi. Hi, Penny Berry. Regina Ferguson, thank you so much for coming. I'm so glad you're here. Hi, Emerald Gold. Hi, Kim Creer. All right, so we finished with the roll call, so let's get to it. So many of y'all have been asking me about my Black Friday haul. Basically, I had a Black Friday weekend haul. Black Friday, to me, was epic this year. This year was a year full of deals, full of good food, family, well, for me, fun, <laughs> for real, for real. And I, I really enjoyed it. Hey, Natarvis Robertson, that's my brother. Y'all say hi to my younger brother. Can't call him a baby. He's not a baby. Okay. So full of deals, full of fun. You know what I'm saying? For the most part, I shop from home. For real, for real. Except for when I had to go out looking for that set of luggage. But, hey, might not need it. But, I mean, if anything happened and all of us have to go anywhere, we want, we didn't have enough luggage. For real, for real. So, yeah, they had great deals on luggage at Dillard's. Huh? I really love Dillard's. But it's not Dillard's night, okay? It's coach night. So, <laughs> for real, for real. So, yeah. Hi, Ingrid Scott. Um, so basically, y'all asked about what I got from Coach, so I'm going to show y'all what I got from Coach. Okay, so the first up is going to be the, see if I can move my laptop here. Okay. Yeah, me and my carrier, we're going to have to have a talk because my CBS channel is out, which means... I can't watch squat. Yeah. I can't watch squat. Yeah. I said it right. Dun 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 I can't watch squat. I can't watch blue bloods. I can't watch FBI Most Wanted. I can't watch NCIS. Don't matter which one. Pick one. I watch all of them. Okay? So you know I'm like hot. So anyway, welcome to Tribe Time. Tribe Time today, Saturday, December the 12th, 2020, is being hosted by none other than your girl, Mrs. Q, for real, for real. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do a reveal slash unboxing of my coach Black Friday weekend haul. I was able to pre-order my stuff, so all I had to do was go pick it up on Wednesday. <laughs> for real, for real. Shout out to Gina. Hey, that's right. I'm a VIP. 
Everybody in my party is a VIP. Yeah. So anyway, so we gonna go ahead and get started, and then once we finish with the unboxing, then we'll go move on to the discussion portion. All right. Everybody got something to drink? This is water. <laughs> I have not eaten dinner yet. All right. So, first up, love the packaging. Come, she put a little box for me. Got my little ribbon. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to open it. Yay! My sales associate, Gina. Shout out, hey, I love her. And uh, the crew. At the Coach Boutique at the Shops of La Contera. That's my stove. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to see them next week. All right. So, this is the Academy Crossbody in Rainbow Signature. Signature. Now, I know what y'all thinking. Mrs. Q, don't you have that other... What was it? The Rowan Satchel? Okay, well, the Rowan Satchel is... is is. I'm having a little problem with them handles. <laughs> for real, for real. And my phone sticking out in the front. So, hey, but it's mine. I have it. I've carried it. But, you know, so I thought I would try this. And like I said, this is called the Academy Crossbody in Rainbow Signature. It is currently on sale unfortunately it's sold out wah, wah, wah. according to the website it is on sale right now for 177 dollars and you get an extra 15 percent off using the code merrier m-e-r-r-i-e-r -R -E -R. one word all caps okay so if you're looking at anything on the coach boutique website that's coach.com extra 15 percent off Okay, so now let's talk about the bag and what made me say, hey, I want it. Okay, so it's not new in plastic, but they had this was they sent it to the boutique by mistake. <laughs> and y'all know Gina. Gina's like, Shonda, I saw this. I knew you would like it. I, I said this looked like a LaShonda bag. So I was hoping you would come in today. And she showed it to me. And I loved it. Okay. So let me show y'all the features of the bag. Okay. So first off, you notice the pattern, which is the rainbow signature pattern. Then you have the Coach Creed on the front. And I love the, the different colors uh, that the Coach spells out. Okay, it does have the leather zipper pocket in the front. You can put some little coupons or lip gloss. You know, if your lip gloss is popping, your lip gloss is cool. You know, oh, I love the Fenty, what do they call them? Lip gloss bombs or what? Beauty bombs or whatever. The lip gloss, oh, that is so... I'm telling you, if you have, if you love lip gloss, you're going to love it. Okay. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Front zipper pocket. Then on the back, nice size pocket. I can slide my phone in and out of there with no hassle. Okay. And this is, to me, one of those on the go bag. No feet on the bottom, but as you can see, that leather goes all the way around the side, the bottom of the bag. Okay. Gold hardware, this, this is where your strap will go. Zipper pull, leather trim. This is your strap. Didn't have to buy a rainbow strap, it came with one. Isn't that gorgeous? And of course, that's how you adjust it. Easy to adjust. You can wear it crossbody or as a shoulder bag trimmed in the leather. Gold hardware, lobster claw clasp. Goes on the side. Also has a hang tag C and the coach C is the different colors. Oh, that's what did it for me. I'm going to have to get something on the back of there. All right. So then on the inside, on the back of the front wall, you have a slide pocket and y'all 
can't see that. I'm going to get some new lighting in here soon, too. Y'all can't see it, but it's... I'm trying to get y'all to see it. It's a D-ring right there. There it is. It's a D-ring. So, if you have a keychain, you can clip, clip it on that D-ring. That's one of the things I wish Coach had key keepers. Or I wish they had key keepers, but they don't. But... If you're not going to put a key keeper in the bag, I wish you would put a D-ring in the bag so I can clip my key ring onto that D-ring, okay? And then on the other side, Coach Creed, another pocket. And then, of course, that's the inside. And this is just the material lining, kind of in the oxblood color. The pockets are trimmed in leather. Love her. Okay, let's see. Oh, tag still on it. And this is item number 985. And I'm going to look at the website so I can tell y'all what the dimensions are. Okay. So according to this, the dimensions are 9 inches in length, 5 and 3 fourth inches in height, and two and one fourth inches in width. The detachable strap is adjustable up to 25 inches for shoulder or cross body wear. Okay, so I am five three and a half. Right now, I do believe I have it adjusted for shoulder. Y'all, okay, if y'all a child of the 70s. Let me see a thumbs up if y'all used to have a rainbow belt. <laughs> and the way it used to connect, you kind of looped it into the loop and did this. And it and the, and the magnet snapped it. Thinking, oh, my gosh. Let me stop. Anyway. <laughs> okay. So, this is it on my shoulder. Right? But it is adjustable. See? I'm glad I'm not the only one. Thank y'all. Hi, Miss Brandy215. See what I'm saying? So there it is on my shoulder. And of course, it easily, I used to love my rainbow belt too. It easily adjusts to crossbody. Look at that. Ain't that nice? And it's not even adjusted to the longest length. You still got a little length on there to adjust it. So that's all the way. And then it comes down. This is at the longest length. <laughs> okay. So, yes. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get more use out of this one. Because, like I said, it has that pocket on the back for my phone. Easy to get in. Easy to get out of. And I initially wanted this because y'all know me. Blues, browns, and black. Okay. All right. Yay. <laughs> All right. Matter of fact, I should have put it on. I should have used it today because I really didn't want to carry that big bag around, but I didn't think I was going to be out that long. <sighs> All right, y'all ready for the next one? Hey, Sissy Kimberly Mars. Look at her. She's a bad mamma jamma. Just as fine as she can be. Hey. She's a bad man, a jammer. Just as fine as she can be. Introducing from the 1941 coach line. This is the bag I will be carrying. Please welcome my new cash and carry. Now, I generally don't 
light nor soft bags. But I don't I can't explain it. I like this one. I love her. Now, I know what y'all thinking. Mrs. Q, don't you have a Metropolitan tote in the same color? Yes, I do. However, this is smaller. <laughs> because sometimes my shoulder hurt and I can't carry that Metropolitan tote. Oh, Lord. Yes, I'm, I'm due for my, my checkups and stuff. So, I might have to give some of these larger bags up, especially if they're heavy, but... I don't even want to think about that. Not going to think about it. No, no. Not going to think about it. Okay. So this is the cash and carry tote. It is part of the 1941 line. There's the hang tag. All right. She has a feet. I love feet because they protect me. And it's like I said, she's slightly smaller. So that's why I just wanted her. Okay. Y'all know me. It is justifiable to have several bags, same color, different sizes. You never know when you're going to need smaller size bag. I used to be one of those people that only bought bags the size of Kingston Hobos. But after a while, I realized, man, if I had a smaller bag, I wouldn't have to drag this larger bag around. So that's why I got a smaller bag. Okay. Now. I know what you're thinking. She does not have an outside pocket. Womp, womp, womp. I know, right? But after carrying Miss Blanche, the name came back to me. That's the name of my LV bag. Y'all couldn't think of it last night. I had brand freeze. But after carrying Miss Blanche, I said, okay, you're going to have to get out of that. It has to have a back pocket. If I can have a back pocket, we're going to get one. But if I can't have one, then oh well. Now, unfortunately... Let's get to these measurements. Unfortunately, not every bag comes with a bag pocket. So just because it doesn't come with some things that you are used to having or would like to have, that don't mean you got to say no to the bag. Just try it. I mean, you know, like they say, the old folks used to say, don't throw the baby out with the bath water. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, so according to this, the dimensions on this bag is 11 and a half inches in length, 12 and a half inches in height, and six and a half inches in width. Handles are, the handles have a six and a half inch drop. This bag does come with a strap, and the detachable strap can be adjusted for shoulder or crossbody wear up to 21 and a half inches. Now, what I wanted to do Metro. Come on, come back. Come back. Metropolitan tote. Okay. So according to let's let's finish the bag and then we get on to the metropolitan tote. Alright. So it does have a zipper closure, gold hardware. I love those zippers, they're so chunky. Now, this one has the one where you can take that out the zipper part and let it fall in like that, like so, okay? So, on the inside, right, you have one zipper pocket and the cream on the back wall. Hope y'all can see that. I wish I had a light. I'm going to buy me a flashlight. Dun, dun, dun. And the inside... Is like a smooth leather and it's blue. <laughs> I know y'all. <laughs> I know. Then I got my tag right here. I left it in the bag so I know where it was. Then you have two slide pockets on the back of the front wall. And I tested it while I was in the store. So if I leave it open, I could just slide my phone in one of those pockets slide pockets on the front so we're gonna see how this gonna work y'all then 
One of the things I don't like about the bag is this flimsy bleep strap. Y'all see how tall this bag is? What, 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 why? Coach, why? No shoulder pad. Really? Really? Really, really? I, I just, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if that's going to work, but thank God I have a metropolitan told in this color. So this item is item number 79. Why am I looking at this little old tag? <laughs> I think it's 79153. 79155. Lord, you sure is. 79. <laughs> Y'all, forgive my eyes tonight. 79155. Okay. And the color is Hunter Green. Okay. So. Even if, thank you, Kimberly Mice. I love you. Okay, so even if I want to carry this in my Willis, I could. They complement each other. They're the same color, okay? So let's do a quick comparison of the Metropolitan Tote. So according to the Coach website, the Metropolitan Tote is 14 and 1 fourth inches in length okay so the cash and carry tote is 11 and a half inches in length then it is 13 inches in height the cash and carry is 12 and a half inches in height then the width on the metropolitan tote is four and one and a half four and a half inches and the width on the cash and carry is six and a half inches the vaunting Come bring me my um, tote right quick. So, we're getting ready to compare the cash and carry tote to the metropolitan tote. All purpose video. That's what trial time is about. Right here, baby. Right here. Right here in the chair. Yeah. Bring that here. Okay. So, thank you. This is my metropolitan tote. In Olive. Miss Olive. Miss Olive. Now, if I want to put this on my shoulder, I can because of the shoulder drop on this bag. The shoulder drop on these handles is seven inches. Can't do that with this bag. <laughs> okay. Can't do that with this bag. See the handles? Can't, can't do that with this bag. All right. As you can see, the height is... Is, is basically comparable. This is slightly taller. If you look right here, it's slightly taller. So it is slightly wider. Okay. So yeah. So see, it's slightly smaller. Okay. Now, what I like about this one is Coach realized this is a big bag and they gave you a web strap. Honestly, this bag is in the men's section, okay? And the item number on the Metropolitan Tote is 55564. Now, currently on Coach.com, this bag is not on sale. Wah, wah, wah. I know, right? So, let's talk about right quick. And I'm going to tell you how I got these bags at a nice, reasonable price. Shout out to Don Jennings. But like I said, so we're going to try this because this right here is going to be too heavy. <laughs> All right? So we're going to try this. Now, sometimes what Coach does is, and I do believe I said it in my last live, they'll send something to the outlet only to change their mind and bring it back to the boutique. It's like they say, I changed my mind. I don't know why they do that. I mean, if they've done it with a couple of things. This just happens to be one of them. Because if you go on coach.com, you'll see the ones they have in stock is the black. And what's the other color? 
and Sarah. Um, I do believe y'all saw my video on the black and the saddle, right? They came from the outlet, not the boutique. They originally at the boutique, but then they went to the outlet. And now they're back on the website. Every now and then, this is why I always say hashtag Coach Games for those of y'all who probably tired of me saying it, but it's the truth. Because sometimes they'll have one bag on the Coach Boutique site and the Coach Outlet site. Don't believe me? All I have to do is say two words. Black Cassie. It was on the Boutique site and it was on the Outlet site. And it was on the Outlet site for cheaper. I think it was 105 which was cheaper than the Coach Boutique site had. And then one day, well, we ain't going to talk about Cassie Gate no more. But anyway, yeah. So that's why we are going to switch eventually into this cash and carry. Now, the thing about this one, the cash and carry tote, they have two designs of this tote. They look the same. Mm -hmm, for real, for real. They look the same. But the difference is on the inside. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all, this is where the strap goes. That's another thing I don't like, but I was able to deal with it in the store. And I already said I was going to switch out the strap for my web strap if I didn't like the one that came with it. So, this one that just, just says cash and carry tote. This one is style number 79155. Now, they have another one that's on the website. And I do believe it's called the Cash and Carry Tote 29. I, I, I know. I didn't do it. <laughs> I just work here. I, I, I didn't do it. Uh-huh, for real, for real. It's called the Cash and Carry Tote 29. What is the big difference? The big difference is the inside. And um, y'all see when y'all see my Christmas bag because the other one is my Christmas bag. And unfortunately, that's why I said we, we going to wait and open it on Christmas. See, Mr. Cute, I can do that. But the inside has a center compartment. Womp, 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 womp. Hey. If you're one of those people that don't like center compartment, you're not going to like that one, okay? And that one comes in Pebble and the um, 1941 collection uh, leather, okay? So that's the difference between the two. One has a middle compartment, whereas this style that I have right here does not, okay? The 29 comes in two different types of leathers. This one just comes in the 1941 smooth leather. Okay, so yeah, so I know, right? Let me see, I got my laptop up. It is on sale, however, right now it's $417. When I bought mine, it was not that, it, it was cheaper than that. <laughs> that. I'm so for real, for real. Okay, so let me show y'all the center, see if I can get it. Up close so y'all can see it. Let me hold up. I moved my duck. <laughs> and that's the uh, Cash and Carry Toe 29. So that's the difference between the two bags. See how it has that center? Yep. I know, right? Hashtag Coach Games. So pick out the one you want. Just, just, just get the one you want. If, if that, if you want the bag, just get the one you want. Let's see. Let's read us some comments. I love the smooth leather too. Good night, Leisha Days. Where I hope you have a good night. Let's see. Hey, Kristen Mahoney. Or oh, is it Mahone? I'm, I hope I said it right. She, Kristen says my SA told me both of these current cash in totes. And the size 22 or being dis discontinued in a larger version is going to replace them. She is correct. Matter of fact, if y'all want to see that version, and it is larger, and they didn't make that many, um, 
the runway show. It was in the runway show. I want to say the large one zip closes. I'm not sure. But it has a thin strap as well. And it's big. Matter of fact, Megan the Stallion is in the ad for it, and it's in Saddle. And uh, I was looking at a video, and the lady was saying it was in the runway show, and that they didn't make that many of them. It is big. It is big. I, I'm trying to think where did I want to say I saw it on Instagram. I'm, I'm, shoot. Let me see if I can look it up for y'all right quick, y'all. Let me see. Coach. Um, Cashin. Tote. Meg. V. Stallion. Okay. Wow, that popped right up. <laughs> I like me some of her stuff a little bit too raunchy for me, but hey, ain't like my ears ain't never heard it before. Okay, I accept. Okay, let's see if we can get a better look at this bag. Come on now. Okay. All right. Okay. So. There it is right there. You see those shoulder straps are tiny. But that's the new cash and tote. That thing is... <laughs> that thing looks bigger than the Metropolitan tote. Bag looks pretty. I'm trying to see if they I can get a close-up of the bag. To see if it zips or not. Because I can't really see it. Let me see. I see all these different pictures of her with the bag. Okay, here's another picture. Of another model. Now... This is, they have the bag in, looks like five different colors. Yeah. It's not Gucci. That's just a pop-up. <laughs> Let me close that. It's not Gucci. That's just a pop-up. But yeah, it says a look at Coach's 80th anniversary collection for spring 2021. And as you can see, those are some pretty colors. Five different colors. But the one Meg had, that's the one that they're not going to make that many of. And it is huge. Yeah, I don't see any other pictures like of the top of it. So we could tell if it's going to zip or how it's going to close. Yeah, this is from the runway. Yeah, it doesn't show us if it's going to zip or close. So, unfortunately, I can't tell you that. I wish I could answer that question. Because that bag looks huge. But I'm going to stick with what I got. Now, I what I don't see, I don't see a strap. But the handles are, are longer. So, hey, you never know. Yes, that green was pretty, wasn't it? All right, so normally, let's get into our conversation portion, and let's talk about seasonal carries. So normally, I associate certain greens with a season. Um, normally, this particular type of green hunter, I associate with Christmas, um, but I... Um, Hi, Art Cesar. Oh, yes, it does. It does. And I normally associate the hunter color with Christmas. I don't know why. However, I'm one of 
those people that I carry my stuff year round. What do y'all do? Do y'all carry y'all stuff year round? I mean, me, I, I do. I, I'll admit, I do. Whatever I'm feeling, what color, I'm serious. So, like this right here is olive. Normally, I would associate this color with fall, but I carry it all year round. So, if you carry your stuff all year round, just put all year. If you, you do it seasonal, just post seasonal. There is nothing wrong with carrying your bags seasonally, okay? I'm just one of those people that, hey, if that's what I'm wearing, that's the color I'm rocking, I'm going to be rocking that color for a couple of weeks before I change out. Mm -hmm. For real, for real. So, I'm so serious because... I, that, that's the way I buy my clothes. That's why I buy colorful tops. So that way I don't limit myself on which of my bags that I can carry. For real, for real. Hi, Diamond Fianco. Okay, so Emerald Scott says seasonal, but basically everybody else is saying all year. And there's nothing wrong with that because even though I do carry my bags all year round, Anything that has suede on it, to me, is fall, winter. <laughs> for real, for real. Now, what broke me out of the habit of carrying something that has suede on it, specifically fall, winter, was my very first Cassie. The sides going all the way around the bag has suede. For real, for real. For a long time, I was scared of suede. I didn't want, because I had some suede pants one time. Okay. If you were a young teenager or adult in the 80s, early 90s, okay, we used to wear leather pants, suede pants, um, some pants, jeans with leather patches, uh, some jeans had leather fronts. Some pants had suede patches, suede fronts. Y'all know, just raise your hand. It's okay. You know, the 80s and the 90s were cool, okay? All right. But I had a blue suede skirt. And yeah, it's okay. We're amongst company here. We're amongst friends. <laughs> I had a blue suede skirt. And a leather pair of pants that had blue suede on the front. And honey, I wore that skirt out. You can tell me nothing. Blue is my favorite color, so y'all know I wore it out right. But when it gets dirty, you cannot just throw it in the washer. Which is what my older brother did by mistake. And ruined my skirt <laughs> i love that skirt <laughs> oh man but yeah that cassie had that suede on it and shout out to sissy kimberly mine she was the one i was scared but i wanted a blue cassie so bad and she just told me just take the plunge just do it like you do with your regular florentine bags and just Put your apple guard on it and keep it going. Spray and go. I was like, you know what? You sure right. It's, it's funny when people give me my own advice. But yeah. <laughs> so that's what broke me out of that habit. But if you carry bags seasonal, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I just happen to be one of those people that I really don't care. If it's matching what I got on, I'm rocking it. I might make you look hot when you look at me, but that's okay, as long as I'm not hot. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Regina Ferguson, you got a butter sweat. <laughs> I bet it's cute, though. <laughs> but, yeah, so I just want to tell y'all, it's okay. If that's what you want to do, rock on with your bad self. Y'all know me. I'm going to say that all the time. There's nothing wrong with being you, okay? But I am one of those people. So, suede. <laughs> Let me see. What's another thing that to me is seasonal? I don't have, have very much of it. Who remembers velvet? 
Raise your hand. And if you don't remember Velvet, who remembers Corduroy? <laughs> hey, come on now. I know I ain't the only one. I had some Corduroy pants. And I used to have those and rock them with my boat shoes in the fall. <laughs> oh my gosh. Tammy says velour. Oh my gosh. Velour used to be so hot. Even though it was a thin material, it was hot. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Oh my gosh. I used to have this velvet purse. I loved velvet. To me, velvet meant Christmas time. Do you hear me? Me and my sister used to have these velvet it was like a little vest and of course we had our shirt and it was trimmed in gold and then we had these pretty flowy skirts all velvet but it was more like a maroon oxblood color I, I know I ain't the only one I know I'm not <laughs> but anyway <laughs> I know what is this velvet <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Hey, it was the 80s, 70s, 80s, 90s. Hey, no 90s, but it was the 70s, 80s. So, yeah, I did it. Okay. So, of course, right now, because of what's going on, we might not be going to a lot of parties per se. However, for those of us, unfortunately, who have to go into the office, never know that might flip with, with everything that's going on. You just want to make sure that you carry a bag that's big enough to have your essentials. And what I mean by your essentials is your face mask, number one. Now, always make sure you carry your backup. I have a cloth mask that I use from day to day. However, I have some backups in my car, in my glove box, just in case I happen to drop my mask somewhere because it happened to me one day. And I couldn't go to the pharmacy and pick up my medicine. Womp, womp, womp. I know, right? Good thing they had a drive through so I could go through the drive through But, hey, sister would have been messed up. I couldn't get my medicine. So, that's why now I keep some in my glove box. So, just in case, you know what I'm saying? Just in case. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you got to have some hand sanitizer just in case. You can't get to washing your hands or you're in between. You got to have enough room for your hand sanitizer, okay? For those of y'all who've been wanting to downsize, this will be the perfect time because you can only carry what you need. And you know you got to wipe that stuff off, right, to try to disinfect it. Mm-hmm, for real, for real. So you need some of those wipes. You know, just a small thing, you know. Uh, some people carry a small bottle that they can use to spray and then they have those little wipes, extra wipes that they can wipe with. I mean, I'm just saying, your essentials, those are your essentials, okay? For real, for real, okay? So, your wallet. Might be a good time to downsize that wallet. All those receipts you got in there, you can zip, put them in a Ziploc bag, put them in a drawer for another day. You can take all of those out of your wallet. All those credit cards, some of them you're not using, now would be a good time <laughs> to take them out. I'm laughing at myself because I'm really talking to myself. <laughs> for real, for real. I'm just saying, you know, just make sure you have enough room so, for your essentials. You know what I'm saying? We now living in this time, we have so many choices when it comes to bags. Don't limit yourself. I keep telling people. Like, sometimes I be in the Brahmin groups and they say, who, who else do you carry other bags? I sure do. I don't limit myself. If I like the bag, I like it. If I don't like the bag, I don't like it. I don't care what brand it is. I could have found it in the dollar show. Uh-huh, for real, for real. Now, you know, me and my trial sisters, we like those little pouches. I mean, some of them come from Target, Target for those of y'all who don't know. And they're cute. They ain't name brand. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me, they're not designer name brand. You know what I'm saying? They might be a name brand you never heard of, but they're cute. As long as they coordinate. Coordinate. 
You know what I'm saying? Now, and, and you were right. If you can find it, travel size Lysol spray. That's why I say anybody that has like a little bottle, you know, you can mix the, um, the Lysol, the liquid with a little water. You can put it in a spray bottle. That's what I do because I can no longer find the miniature Lysol sprays. I put it in a small spray bottle and that I carry it with me. So just in case I have to um, wipe down the surface, I'm good. Shout out to Target. Target consi is consistent. I can honestly say that if you walk into Target, you will get a sanitized basket. They do not play that. They have the sanitized baskets out and waiting when you walk into the door. Every Target in my area, I promise you, you see them actually. Somebody goes out, get the baskets, bring them back, and you actually see a couple of people wiping them down, sanitizing them. Walmart, they spread down. Shout out to Target. <laughs> for real, for real. <laughs> yes, TJ Maxx does it too. I've been trying to stay away from TJ Maxx because, you know, I'm, I'm trying to stay out of trouble. All right. So for those of you, if there's anybody, for those of you who do carry your bag seasonal, what kind of bag is it that you carry seasonal? Is it a drawstring or... A lot of people, Noble Strength, have slacked off. I miss Publix because I'm I know Publix be on it. Publix is one of the cleanest grocery stores I have ever patronized. I promise you it is. Every single Publix I've ever gone to, whether it was in Atlanta, whether it was in Savannah, whether it was in Augusta, every single Publix I have ever gone to was squeaky clean the floors was clean you probably can eat off the darn things for real for real i'm so serious hi allison brown that's why i wish they had a Publix here but yeah but anyway so for those of you <laughs> yes those public restrooms are awesome too so for those of you who have who carry bags seasonal what kind of bags are you carrying Hi, John Cole. Oh, honey, Publix would change my life here in Texas. Now, H-E-B is not bad, but H-E-B done cornered the market down here. There are no, here in San Antonio, Texas, the only places you can go to get groceries is, one, Publix. They almost everywhere. You know why? Because they done bought out everything. Mm -hmm. For real, for real. Two, the commissary, if you're military affiliated, which is where I was coming from, how I got stuck in all this traffic, they're slightly cheaper. It's a long story, but don't worry about it. Three, <laughs> Walmart, whether it be the Walmart Super Center or the Walmart Grocery Store, take your pick. Mm -hmm. For real, for real. Four is Target. The Super Targets, they have a grocery section in the Super Target. That's it. Unless it's a little mom and pop store that I don't know about, that's it. Those are your choices for buying groceries here in San Antonio. For real, for real. Okay, so back to the discussion. Seasonal. Seasonal colors. Pastels are for spring. Okay, that's true because I like to, like my yellow bags, I like to wear those in the spring slash summer, orange. Um, the, well, I, I kind of wear orange year round. I'm one of those odd people. I'm, I'm an odd duck. I like orange all year round. But I especially like orange depending on it, whether it's, it's the regular orange, like an orange, the fruit. I like that. Mostly in the fall, but I will wear it in the summer. For real, for real. Um, like I said, green. I mostly associate green with the fall, especially olive. 
uh, Hunter with Christmas, but I will wear it year round. Mm -hmm, for real, for real. And red, I'm not going to lie. Red is one of those year round colors too, but I mostly wear red in, wow, the fall. <laughs> But I wear it during the, during the earlier parts of the year, too. That's what I'm saying. I wear it year-round, but mostly I wear red um, in the fall, winter months. <laughs> so, Emma Gold says, for instance, I would have the same bag, different color. Yeah, that's true. The example is the gray and brown. You know what? That's true. And um, because I have the metropolitan tote now so far i have not been able to find a blue one wah, wah, wah. when gina was looking for it they only had it in canada what's up with that so i have one in hunter green i have this one in olive i have one in saddle and unfortunately i have one in black and the rust well we know what happened with the rust we not going to get that one again. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, I have four. I really want a blue one. But with the way my shoulder is going, we won't be buying any more. Unfortunately. Oh, my gosh. If y'all uh, 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 if y'all get a chance, if y'all look at something for a guy, coach-related, check out Art Cesar's channel, A-R-T. C Z A R. He's here in the chat somewhere. I watched a couple of his videos. He had this one. I think it was. Oh my gosh! If you still hear art, please put the name of that bag up. That bag. It was a Metropolitan Tote Weekender or something like that. I was like, that's a nice bag. Then he had another one, and I was like, what in the heck? Was I, why did I miss this bag? <laughs> but yeah, Coach, I'm telling y'all, Coach makes some nice stuff for guys. They do, they do, they do. And Noble Street, you write corals. Normally, I wear corals in the summertime. But I don't have as much as I used to. I don't have as much as I used to. But yeah, red, normally, um, to me, red is a power color. So if I'm going to like an interview or a meeting and I need that extra, mm, red is what I'm wearing. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Wear red, for real, for real. Um, I'm trying to find Art's channel. Cause like I said, he had a couple of bags on there. I was like, how this one bag, even though it would be too big for me, I was like, how the heck, where was I? How the heck did I miss that bag? And again, his channel is Art Cesar, A-R-T, C as in cat, Z as in zebra, A-R. That's his channel name. He has some good content. Like I said, if you're looking to buy some coach stuff for guys, he he does really good reviews. And, and that's what I like about his reviews. They're down to earth. Okay, so the coach 1941 Metropolitan Duffel 52. That was the bag that I was like, oh, man, I don't know if I can handle that bag. But it was a gorgeous bag. Gorgeous bag from the 1941 then that was the 1941 Metropolitan Weekend to Tote. That's basically what this is. That's what this is. And he has the salad color. I do have the salad. That's why I said a lot of people didn't even know that was from the men's section until I said it. Mm -hmm. For real, for real. Then the Trekker carry-all. I think that was the one that I lost my mind. I was, yes. The Trekker, the coach, Trekker carry-all in signature canvas. Hey, the Sissy Duny 615. 
OMG. I was like, how in the heck did I miss that bag? To me, that bag looked like the perfect travel bag. My brother would probably lose his mind if he was to get that bag. Now, I didn't say Mr. Q. Mr. Q got Brahmin. Mr. Q ain't in all that. He, he throw his stuff in the bag. He go. That's it. But anyway, but I, I started my brother on the coach stuff. So I was looking for a good carry bag for coach for him because I did get him that one but I was one one that was kind of like all leather that would coordinate with the bag he has now, like a bigger bag. And to me, that Coach Trekker carry-all would have been perfect. And what I loved about the bag, what I mainly, mainly, mainly loved about the bag is that it had that part where you can unzip and you could put the suitcase handle. You could put it through it. So that way when you roll it through the airport, you know what I'm saying? Hey, my nose beauty. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, so so basically, to some, what makes the bag seasonal is the color. Pastels. Darker colors. Green, red. You know. But lighter colors, corals. You know, to them, that's what makes the bag seasonal. And that's understandable. And like I said, even though I do wear my stuff year round, I'll be honest, it's depending on what I feel like wearing for the next few weeks, what color I feel like wearing. For real, for real. And you know I got a lot of blue. <laughs> I could be in blue for three months. <laughs> I have green. Trust me, I have green. I have stuff that coordinates with green. That's why... It's more important to take from the this or that. Get you a colorful top or a colorful bottom, solid top. I, that's just the way I think. You, you do you, but that's the way I think. Colorful top with a bunch of a of colors. And then when you do your accessories, accessorize to pull certain colors out of that top. Like, like right now, my top. I have white, I have a light pink, I have a dark pink. If I was going to pull a color, it would probably be that light pink or the dark pink. Or I could just totally black out and then wear a pop of color with it. Okay. Um, Noble Strength has a good video. Um, she has a good video where she's styling and she shows she has a bright color bag. It's a Tory Burch bag. I think it's the Kira. Yes, she has a bright bag and let me see. I want to get y'all the right name of the video. And yes, I like giving people their props, especially those that support me. I definitely go support you. Okie dokie, for real, for real. Okay, so I just watched it today. I've been trying to catch up on my videos. Yes, me, me and my sissy Kimberly Mines, we are blue sisters or sisters in blue, however you want to say it. <laughs> okay, so Noble Strength's video, the name of it was Nine Ways to Style Black and White featuring Toy Birch Kira. And it is in the um, crazy pink. Is it the crazy pink? I think that's the same. I think it's the crazy pink. Phenomenal Personality has that bag also. That was a very good video. I, I love her videos like that because it shows you that you don't have to be scared of color. You know what I'm saying? That color can be a pop. You know what I'm saying? I, I, yes. Yes. Because some people, they, they get it in their head that all they have to do is just wear a solid color and then they can wear that pop of color. No, that was this one look. I think it was look number, was it nine? Where she had a black top. Um, she had a, a pin skirt, a pleated skirt, and it had it was black and white. And then she had the pink bag. Oh, that was so pretty to me. I was like, yes, girl, work. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. And the closet dive, 
Shout out. Hey. The Closet Dye also makes videos where you'll see that she styles different bags with different outfits as well. So, uh -huh, for real, for real. <laughs> now, Dunia615, uh, some of the things we be talking about in her Feed Your Addiction is the different accessories that you can use to coordinate with your bag don't have to necessarily be the same color but it coordinates meaning all the colors blend so well together that it looks like a set even though they're not the same color and that's what i like about a lot of the feature additions because she even lets us get in on it and she's like okay so what do y'all think does this go with this does this go with this or how about that? I love those. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why I love going to feed your addiction on Sundays. Uh, at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. <laughs> I actually said it right. <laughs> for real, for real. So, yeah. Um... But that's all I have for y'all tonight. I really do thank y'all for being patient and dropping by, even if it was for a little while. Um... Like I said, I'm going to try not to go out next weekend because uh, the Lights Alive um, had me want to go and just tear it all down. <laughs> for real. For real. <laughs> oh, I hope y'all like my uh, Black Friday weekend haul from Coach. <laughs> yep, yeah, so don't forget, I will be on next Friday for For Real Friday. 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I'm glad I got home safe, too, because they were driving crazy. It was just uh, mind-boggling. Yeah. Now, I won't be on on the 25th because the 25th is Christmas. <clears throat> on the 24th, I don't know if uh, if you work for the government I just got word a few minutes ago that they deemed the 24th a federal holiday, so we will be off that day. Um, my sissy's coming into town, her and her fiance, so we're gonna enjoy them while they're here. Um, they, um, yeah, I, I'm hoping I'm gonna try to get my brothers to come. We're gonna see, but anyway, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like this content. Please subscribe, share, you know what I'm saying. And uh, I will see y'all on Friday. Yay. For For Real Friday. Otherwise, I will see y'all tomorrow night for Feature Addiction. And again, doing that 615 is on live at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right. Thank y'all for joining.